Hello friends and welcome to Physical Education with Coach Lockett. Today we're doing some exercises that if you have a lot of space, you can do standing up. But if you have limited space, you can still do these exercises sitting down in a chair. So today you're gonna need one chair. I'll give you some time. Go find a chair and come back to the screen. Go. Did you find a chair? Great, all right. Now, you can put that chair to the side. We'll come back to it. The first exercise we're gonna do today is jogging in plates. Now, here's what I want you to do. We're gonna start off slow and get a little faster. I want you to bring those knees up, a little off the ground, a little high. Move those arms as well. And we're starting, you know, right now we're doing some march steps. Now I want you to kind of pick it back up, pick it up, pick it up, a little faster now, a little faster. Now I want you to speed it up. Let's see if you can break a sweat. Keep going, moving your arms, moving your feet. Five, four, three, two, one, and stop. Whew. Now, could you still get some exercise in, even if you had to sit in a chair? Of course you can. You just have to make some changes, some modifications. So go ahead. Sit down in that chair. All right, then make sure your back is straight, head is up. And here's what I want you to do. Make your hands into a fist. All right, and move your arms in a circular motion. These are called arm cycles. And I want you to start moving your arms very fast. Go, start moving them very fast. Moving your arms very fast. Back straight, head up. Keep going, faster, faster. Five, four, three, two, one, and time. Excellent job. Stand back up. Whew. Next exercise. All right, you go ahead and move that chair out the way. All right, this next one is called lunges. Go ahead and place your hands on your hips. There we go. Take a big step forward with your right foot. Boom. Let your back knee go down towards the ground but don't let it touch the ground and stand back up. Now take a big step with your left foot. Boom. Let your back knee go down towards the ground, but don't let it touch the ground and stand back up. We're gonna do four lunges and go. One, two, three, and four. Excellent job. But what if we were limited with space and can only move from a chair. Could we still get some exercise in? Of course we can. We just need to make some changes, some modifications. So go ahead, sit back down in your chair for me. All right. So you're sitting up, back straight, head up. Flex your muscles. There we go. We're actually flexing a muscle called our biceps. I want you to make your elbows touch and open wide. Excellent job. We're gonna do 10 elbow touches. Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Excellent. Stand back up. Whew. All right. Moving on to squats. I want you to spread your legs out, shoulder width apart, put your hands together, and I want you to sit down like you're sitting in a chair, very low, and stand back up. I want you to do 10 squats. Go, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Very good. But could we still get exercise if we were sitting in a chair? Of course we can. We just need to make some changes, some modifications. All right, go ahead and sit down in that chair. Now I want you to put your hands behind your head and lean to the left side and to the right side. These are called side crunches. I only want you to do five of these. Go, one, two, three, four, and five. Excellent job, friends. Well, that's all for me. 
So you see, you can still do exercises if you're limited with space, if you had to sit down or stand up. I'll see you back next time.